Well, we had a pretty good amount of rain last night, but I, I stayed dry. It was off and on. I had to go up to the Dollar Tree and get some supplies. Normally, I never, ever, ever leave my gear anywhere uh, hidden, hidden or not hidden. Now, if there's somebody with me, like Bazman or you know somebody from back in the old day, I'll leave them with my gear. If somebody, it's usually the youngest one in camp does all the running, gets the firewood, runs and gets the supplies, or you can draw sticks, draw matches. Uh, but usually, out of courtesy, the younger ones you get it, but. I took a chance. I didn't want to lug all that water. I got a 430 mile trip ahead, so. I got my stuff kind of. These kind of limbs break easy. But sure, I ain't pulling on no poison ivy again. <laughs> Boy, it's nice having a little pack now. I've been lucky. I ain't had one chick yet. Not one mosquito. Not one chigger. Uh, this year so far. See how am I going to carry all this? I'll show you some neat stuff I got. Get back down to camp. I'm gonna have to hold my camera different. How's that? That's still recording. Yeah, that Dollar Tree is just right up the road about, oh, I don't know, six blocks. It's like a strip mall. There's a family dollar, a fitness place, a Mexican restaurant, uh, a Goodwill Industries thrift store. Uh, this little dirt road I'm walking on, actually, if you go back the other way that I'm walking in reverse, it comes out of the ice cream parlor. Pretty good ice cream here in uh, Hagerstown. <laughs> Get my pack off. Show you what I got. <sighs> well, that beach carrying all this stuff. I had to take that off. It's getting nice and toasty. Well, it's not Dollar Tree anymore. It's Dollar and a Quarter Tree. Uh, that's just finished topping off that. Well, I got some of these uh, espresso canned espresso mini mini coffees. And I'm still pretty itchy burning up from that bear spray yesterday, so I got some diaping hydramine. That'll help with the itch. Yeah, that'll help with the body aches and pains and help you sleep. But, uh, uh, I found some new uh, cliff bars. Banana uh, peanut butter. Pretty good. I still like the chocolate chip the best. And then I like the peanut butter, but... The peanut butter, when they got whole half peanuts in there and I can't chew them, I end up spitting out half the, wasting half the bar because you can't chew the peanuts. Same with all the rest of them, but you can, there, there's not quite as many in them. Anyway, uh, there's that little crack. I left a can of chili 
if you ever leave food behind you always put it up high for somebody passing through I just needed the space and tired of the weight all right this might be it Let there be a ride. Had to move my camp from under that bridge down here. Well, I got one to stop. This one's home shop for repairs. See the door? I better get in there before it starts rolling. All right, got in. <sighs> See, there's no way this door can shut on me now because it ain't got one. <laughs> oh, it's hot in here. Holy hell. Well, at least we know that door can't shut on me. <laughs> I've ridden in them like this too. They're they're called home shop for repair. I don't see the home shop for repair tag though. But about five cars behind us is a utility flatbed. It's got two small trailers on it. Little work trailers. See if I can focus in on them. See them? I thought they were vans at first, but they're locked. They're on a flatbed. There's like tool sheds, a mobile tool shed. I'll see if one of my keys will fit later. Irondale is the only place I know they can fix this door. That's in Birmingham, so. I think we got a train all the way to Bristol and Johnson City and out of the weather. <sighs> it's hot.
first time we've stopped since I got home. Man. Yeah, I had to eat my Wheaties to get that door off. No. Yeah, we went east out of Front Royal to Manassas. And then went south at Manassas. We're outside Charlottesville now. We're gonna go from Charlottesville to Lynchburg. And this train's gonna go down to Charlotte. And then Charlotte probably on down to Atlanta or Birmingham. Taking a scenic route. So I'll get some good sleep tonight. Uh, at least till I might get off in Lynchburg.
Check out this car. It's a flatbed with a utility shed on it. A big generator and a second one down. Grab my gear. Here's the second one. You just go up that ladder, go right in. That'd be nice to ride up in there. You know they got bunks and that that there is actually is the bunkhouse. That would be the bunkhouse for the guys who, or the workers here. All right, I lucked out in Lynchburg here. Uh, we didn't go quite to the yard to stop. So I don't have that far to walk back up to town. I was wondering if we had a DPU or not. But we do. Just one on the very end here. Find a place to crash out now. I uh, finally got out of all them vines and on a well lit road. Guess what that is? That's that DPU. To my train there's no way I could have walked down that hill with all them vines see it some like muscadine type vines they aren't really grapes on them they're just they're well known throughout this Appalachian area but yeah there's the tracks way up there at that DPU I'm gonna try to find my old camp. I got a, about a two and a half mile walk. Well, we had some good rain here. Flash flood. Wish it would pick it up better than. It's about right where I got off the box car, but up the hill we way up there I wonder how deep that is must not be too too deep because of the rock rapid, the rapids but it sure is dark muddy alright I found a space to kind of crash out till morning anyway the stores will be opened up I'm just right up from the tracks, but let's see, I can probably lay out right about here. Uh, I don't know, let me look back, see if it's a little bit flatter. Yeah, maybe I could, let's see, uh, I don't know, I think it was flatter back over here. Yeah, this will have to work. This is wall. Too much light up there. But yeah, I can just roll that tarp out right here. Then lay that mat 
on the tarp and then my sleeping bag on top of the mat and lay my head on the gear put my bucket right over here yeah that'll work uh, go get my gear now well, I hope you guys have been enjoying the videos I wish y'all could be here when I'm making them to experience it do some of the walking I'm getting back in shape a lot better feeling better this morning anyway I can get a couple hours of sleep back here hidden really well so let me go grab my gear I found a place for water too so I'm set see you guys later